Hey everybody, John and Lance from the bench. Mornings on ESPN 97.5 here to talk a little Astros baseball. Uh, Justin Verlander, if he's done for the season, and given the number of expiring contracts, Lance, should the Astros go all, go all in for this season or maybe start to rebuild? I don't know how you go all in. Like I, you can make you can you can make trades if you want to. How do you go all in right now? You don't have a you know, we don't know the minor leagues as they usually are in in play with these kind of trades. We don't have standard minor league systems for some teams and some organizations. And I think a lot of the teams that the, the players you'd be willing to go all in with are the same ones that you have to keep or, or the ones that you could go all in with, I should say, on your own roster are guys that you really need on your roster to try to, to win a championship. So unless you were doing something like dealing a player like a Carlos Correa, who you think you might not be able to – to keep long term, or George Springer, if you thought you couldn't keep him long term, yeah, you might be able to deal them for a pitcher that you think you can hang on to for the long term. But then I would argue you lose a tremendous amount of defense with Carlos Correa, uh, you lose a tremendous amount of offense and really the heart of the team in George Springer. So I think the Astros will look to make a move, but it's not going to be a major move, and I don't think they can afford to make a major, major move. I will say, though, John. I do see a potential window close in a little bit. When you have this type of you know lineup with with this level of talent, I don't think the window is going to sh- shut completely closed. But you can't just lose Cole and Verlander and think that a true championship window is open. That's just not possible. Well, no, but you could go out and get, if you could use. Listen, we don't know what James Click thinks of Kyle Tucker or, or and Forrest Whitley. Those guys were untouchable. They they're still young guys that you hope and think are going to be big time major leaguers. And guess what? You could use those guys as trade. You could also use Correa because he's got another year of arbitration. Springer and Brantley are both expiring contracts this year, but they've got the same agent. And from what I hear, uh, Springer's wanting to get a a deal done. And I wouldn't be surprised at all if Brantley wasn't back too. So I think that the window is open a little bit longer, but you still got to get those pitchers. I still would not do that this year, though. You don't know that this year is actually going to happen, and it's only two months. I'm not renting a guy, one of these big-time pitchers that can come in here for a month and and possibly win for you. I'm still not doing that in, in during the pandemic because I'm, I'm, I'm not sure right now that baseball is going to happen. Then it would be a waste. You give up t- uh, 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 Tucker and, and Whitley for, for nothing because you can't even win a championship. Is it a waste, though? Well, I don't know if Forrest Whitley is actually ever going to come through, but I do hope that at some point dude, you find out that dude can pitch and that Tucker can hit. And what we've seen early, we saw the double in the ninth inning yeah. the other night, and boy, I was like, wow, that's a pinch hit at bat for that dude. That's a, Maybe that's a big a confidence booster for him. And let's see, put him out there and see if he can't get some, put some hits together and see if he can't be an everyday major leaguer. But the Whitley thing is just unbelievable to me that you don't have Justin Verlander. You would not give this kid up for anything in Major League Baseball, and yet you can't you can't put him out there on the mound. That is just unthinkable. Yeah, if he doesn't end up as a major contributor, when I say major contributor, one of the five starters at some point this year, I got a question if he's ever going to be a factor for the Astros. 